Hello, this is Craig from bitsbox.co.uk. In this video, we're going to be painting a dark brown um, cloth on this miniature here. It's going to be in a very sort of grim dark blanjitsu style. Um, this technique can also be used on very dark leather also. Before I begin, just want to shout out to our latest Patreon, Sean. Um, thank you so much for joining our Patreon and um, showing your support for the channel. Um, Sean has joined for $20 pledge. So we'll be getting a nice bag of um, bits, as well as the additional bonus henchman bag. But anyway, let's go straight into this. Um, so I've got this miniature here that you guys may have seen, I've shown off in the previous Bandit 2 videos. Um, this is the first guy from my warband, and um, this sort of brown colour here is what we're going for. It's very sort of muted and dull. Um, not too high contrast either in the highlights. Of course you can always um, and do like the highlights if you prefer the more contrast, but we're going for something quite dull here. So the miniature has been sprayed with Chaos Black, um, of course we're going for a very dark colour, so um, Chaos Black is a great way to start undercoat. So first I'm going to take some dried bark and this will be our base coat. And as always with base coats, um, you may need a couple of thin coats. But it is a base paint, so it has gone very well. But I will do two coats of this. I'm just going over all the robes on this miniature. So it's going to be a very dark and grim looking guy. Okay, so now that layer of brown has dried, and we're going to make it even darker by giving it a wash of non oil. So. I'm not watering this wash down at all, I'm just going to use it straight out of the pot. But I'm going to apply it sort of thinly and evenly over all these areas. This will just darken down the brown even more and also give us some nice depth in the recesses. That's a bit too much there. Okay. A little tip as well, um, to stop your wash pulling up in the recesses, I always like to leave my miniature upside down as it dries. Usually when if if a shade settles at the top, then it doesn't look so bad compared to if it was to settle at the bottom. So I want to leave this guy hanging upside down until this wash is dried and then we can do some highlights. So with that shade now completely dry, you can see it's darkened down this brown and also settled nicely in the recesses. So we're going to come back in with the um, dried bark and we're going to apply it to a miniature once again. But this time we're just going to leave, we'll leave all the um, deeper recesses and just focus on all the raised areas. So we'll just bring that colour back up just a little bit, but this time as more of a highlight rather than the base coat. As you can see, it's quite subtle, as will a lot of these highlights be. So now it's time for our first proper highlight for this. We're going to take some Carrick Stone and we're going to mix it with the Dryad Bark. So this will give us a very muted, dull brown colour. And this time we're going to focus this highlight a bit more and just follow sharper raised edges. Now thin it out with a bit of water so as always it will dry more subtle than when it first goes on. So I'm going to follow all the edges and all the raised areas. So 
so just continue to work yourself just around a miniature and I'll be back once we're done all this so here he is after that first highlight as you can see it's um it shows up a bit better on camera than it does to the eye um, it's still quite subtle and it's very muted so we're going to do one final highlight this time we're just going to add a bit more of the carrot stone to the mix and I'm going to thin it down with some water and this time we're really just going to focus this highlight just on all the really sharp detail so this time um, a bit less on the brush I'm only using a size zero brush here but you can use a finer brush if you wish and we're just going to focus on just all the sharper edges now not being um, too precise with the mixers at all and um, this is almost pure character tone but just not quite I'm just going to focus just on the bottom corners all these little sharp details here And if you find your highlights end up being too bright, then you can also always just apply a glaze of um, dried bark or even like um, Nelma oil again to darken it down. It's really just up to you. But once that's done, um, our cloth is complete. And here we have the finished cloth area. So this is quite different to um, how I'd normally sort of paint this colour. But it does give this really nice sort of pastel-y, sort of dark brown, sort of grim-dark look to a cloth. Which is really good um, for a blanket to wall band. It really works really well. I'll just put them st still. See so, yeah, a lot of this, um, I haven't based them very well I'm afraid, but I'll sort that out when we come to complete the miniature. But yeah, I'm really happy with how this has turned out, and I hope um, some of you guys have found this tutorial useful. If you have, um, feel free to give it a thumbs up, and you can also subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. Um, but apart from that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all again in the next video.